this is the zimbabwe they don't show you on tv yeah stay tuned in because you're about to get blown away i mean let's be honest the last thing i remember seeing about zimbabwe on tv was when white people were being chased out of this country the president revoke any memories but then he spotted a white journalist in the throngs of those wanting the perfect soundbite the last sad thing I remember seeing about Zimbabwe on TV was when their currency Around crashed. In 2007, Zimbabwe experienced the second highest inflation in history after post war Hungary. It's hard to know exactly how bad it got, as the government stopped reporting numbers after 100,000% inflation, when a loaf of bread cost 30 billion Zimbabwean dollars. Employees stopped going to work when their annual salary wouldn't even pay for their bus ride home, and vending machines were put out of service, unable to hold the billions of coins that a single can of soda would cost. To keep up, the central bank kept printing bigger and bigger banknotes. A million dollars, 100 billion, and finally 100 trillion, worth a whole 40 US cents. What do you do? <laughs> so we use US dollars in Zimbabwe. I, I was shocked. She was shocked. I yes. was shocked. So these are, these are the ones that she used. I was shocked. <laughs> so you guys are rich. You guys are rich then. So uh, 30 dollars. I was how, really, really shocked. Like how? It makes life easy for us now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How? How, is, how does it make life easy? Uh, you know, it's for us. You know, we, 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 we have our currency. But there was a time when we had problems with our currency. So uh, that's when they introduced that we can start using US dollars as well. So that's when we started using US dollars in our currency. Wow, I was so, so shocked. I've never seen that. You know, our currency is the one that is like the most popular currency in the world. You know that, right? Which one is it? The one that has got trillions. Where everyone was yeah. a you know, you know, everyone has a millionaire. Even she heard about it. No, which one? It's like when you when you talk about uh, a country where everyone was a millionaire. Because we oh, wait. You know that, right? Yeah, exactly. There was a time when like Zimbabwe, uh, we use Zimbabwean dollars. So our money, we used to have millions, like a, a, a one million dollar note. Exactly. One million dollar oh, note. And then we go time. to billions. Oh, wow. You understand? So, yes. So one note is a billion. Yes. Okay. Billion. Like this are, you know, oh, wow. one billion. Buying a loaf of bread. But, but you could just. You're buying a loaf of bread with one billion. With one billion dollars. Oh, my God. So, so that's when uh, all those things. Uh, <laughs> That's hey. when they said, okay, now let's let's abandon it. And then we started using US dollars. Was so, it hard to transition uh, it from, was, your, from your currency? It was called the Zimbabwean dollar? The Zimbabwean dollar, dollar yes. It was a dollar. <clears throat> so the thing is, what happened uh, around that time, uh, is for me, I was young. Mm. I was still in high school. Mm. So, yes, I know what was happening. But I, I don't really know, like, you know, how it impacted a lot of people. But there are people who say they lost money, they yeah, had investments yeah. and stuff. So I don't really know the actual impact that it had on some people. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think it was it was much of a of a uh, not not an in an impact, but much of an issue to transition to get into the US dollars because and they straight, 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 right? straight. Right. So if you're Zimbabwean, please. Drop a comment, let us know what your experience was like. Yes, yes. Was the highest for me? I was in high school, I was in lower six, ah, I was in upper six. <laughs> so, you know, when you're in high school, a lot of things you won't really be knowing. Yeah. You just go home and you say, You need school fees, and you need this, and then you have to. Interesting. Yes. Uh, he came and picked us up. What's your name? I'm Kunda Kitsima. So that's why, that's why I'm so excited. And your energy is so up there, like, he just came into the house, his energy is already high. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, for me, I was like, oh, I've had a long time, I'm getting tired. And then he comes in and it's like, okay, looks like we are, we are, we are not going to go down anytime soon. So as a travel content creator, how is it being a, a content creator here in Zimbabwe? Yeah, uh, it's for me, I can say I'm 
one of the first people to start doing travel content. Pioneer. Uh, so it has not been very easy. Okay. And what I can oh, say yeah, is, your pioneer is never easy. Yes. But you know what? I can say what Maya actually has given us. Uh, maybe I can say the, the, the inspiration we needed. So he, was, he came to Zimbabwe yeah. and then he was surprised. He was like, you know, you guys, I saw the video. Yeah. He was saying, you know, I never thought that Zimbabwe is like this. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, were, there was a lot of like noise on the internet. And you know, some people were even saying, ah, you can't say that Zimbabwe and all that stuff. So as for me, that's when I said, you know what? People are surprised that Zimbabwe has got things like these ones. And yet we are here. We have got our cameras as well. So, what are we doing about it? Coming to Zimbabwe has left me pleasantly surprised. This is the greenest country I have been to in Africa. I mean, there's trees everywhere. And it's so beautiful and calm and I honestly feel like I want to move here. We are moving around Zimbabwe and uh, we're seeing new roads, <laughs> right? And um, I've been told Zimbabwe is under construction. wide and wide nice like, smooth and wide two lanes this way right yeah two lanes that way and a lane in the middle for turning yeah so there are a couple of places not just here yeah like most of the major roads most of the major roads in in, in the city oh, nice. have been resurfaced wow that's amazing Awesome, let me keep showing you guys more roads. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of people who are like, ah, they're saying it's because of SADC, because of the summit that's coming up. Uh, but you know what? For me, it's like the roads are still gonna be there after. Exactly, that. the summit ends and the roads will be here, and we're, all, we're the ones who use it every day. We're the ones who benefit from it. So. Exactly. And I mean, how many summits have we had? We've had the important people come and go and. I feel like he could have, you know, they, the government could have decided not to. I don't think it would have made a difference if they did or didn't. So we should just appreciate it because we're the ones who think. Yeah. I don't care what the reason is. What's the difference <laughs> when you're driving in Zimbabwe and Jamaica? I've hardly driven in Jamaica. You know, when I lived in Jamaica, I wasn't oh, driving. Yeah. I went to uni and then from there I came here. But so you started driving in, in Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. Oh, Zimbabwe always have Tony was the one who taught me house. to drive. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Oh, street lights and all that. Ah, look at that. This is amazing. Oh, and then the trees. I love, I love, I just, God, I just love it. You should see these trees in, in, in October. Yeah, I mean, told in October they become right even purple. more beautiful. Yeah. It would be just purple, 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 purple. You should actually check Google it, you'll see photos of it. Oh, really? Yes, online. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Oh, look at these. They also planted. This is palm trees. Turn right to stay on A1. When we say Zimbabwe is under construction, this is what we mean. Everywhere you turn, what, what do you call these cars? I don't even know. <laughs> these cars that carry ballast <laughs> for the road, like they are all over the place. It's so easy and it's, it's amazing. It's always good to see 
a country getting better you know yes. and uh power to the people that means the people get to enjoy their roads which is amazing i am a tourist in this country and i am enjoying the roads so far so good man i can't even complain about the zimbabwe roads <laughs> so yeah anymore <laughs> yeah maybe it's because they came at this time they did it just for you oh i feel so special <laughs> thank you zimbabwe i love you guys if you just did the roads for me please also just subscribe for me <laughs> <laughs> that's funny is that diamond platinum's it is oh my god <laughs> so excited diamond platinum's live in today yeah. you guy my guy fifth october diamonds <laughs> diamond platinums it's also my favorite artist right after Saudi soul kenyan band but then they broke up it's so sad that Saudi soul broke up because of my favorite kenyan band right now who's my favorite kenyan artist uh, it's a uh, bn no no not bn i mean i, mean, I love Saudi soul although ben is also talented all of them are talented but now my favorite artist is Ben Soul. Oh, his music is so juicy. It touches the soul. Let me know if you know him and what you think about his music. And if you're his friend and you're watching this video, send him. Let him know that Miss Trudy is a huge fan. He's so talented. And um, yeah, let me know your favorite artist, you guys. And in 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 the whole of Africa, it's like okay, Diamond. Although these days I'm too busy to even listen to his music. So maybe I should say. Should I say Burner Boy? I used to love Davido, then we made Davido and his bodyguards are not so good to me. So it's like, uh, really? Yeah. But I can't deny he's so talented. So I think I'm just mad, but I still love Davido. <laughs> yeah, he's a talented. <laughs> but my favorite, Whiskey. Whiskey is like top notch for me, but these days he doesn't put out a lot of music. What is he doing anyhow? Go, you t you let me you tell me i saw i saw justin bieber posted him the other day maybe he's working on music undercover and then he comes out i don't know <laughs> yeah who do you see is your favorite artist burner boy right afrobeats right yeah yeah i like burner boy i like davido as well is it david o or davido david david <laughs> davido i think they say davido potato yeah, like potato both though of them. Oh, and that other guy, Rotimi, is that his name? Ah, Rotimi, married to Vanessa Hi. Mdi. He's I will so love handsome. you too, Rotimi. He's so fine. <laughs> fine. And Vanessa Mdi is so pretty. <laughs> the wife was my favorite Tanzanian artist, <laughs> Vanessa Mdi. I just love her. She's so pretty. Yeah, they're she has a big heart. She lived in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of my favorite the African artists. Um, the yeah, the one who sang, the one who sang, um, there's a meeting in my bed, in my bed. <laughs> what meeting, Rotimi? What meeting? <laughs> it's a meeting with his wife. Ah, um, okay. <laughs> we are at the newly constructed Highlands Park. My we are back to my channel. Hey, I'm in Zimbabwe. Yo, I am so excited. You know, in Zimbabwe, you have to emphasize your words. You don't just talk. You emphasize it. I am excited. Guys will say excited. <laughs> so, finally in Harare. My name is Trudy. I am a Kenyan travel and lifestyle content creator. I have been wanting and dreaming of coming to Zimbabwe for the longest time. But life happens. So, you know, I kept postponing. But you know what? Never say never because I am finally here. And I am super excited. I have... I've learned a couple of things about Harare. The main thing we know about Zimbabwe is obviously the Victoria Falls. And my dad has always told me you gotta go to the Victoria Falls. You gotta visit Victoria Falls. So that's one of the main reasons. Another thing in, I know about Zimbabwe was your former president. We just used to see him on TV, okay? Yeah. And the person I know now is your current president because I know you guys had an election just last year and that's about all I know about Zimbabwe uh, but I know Zimbabwe has a lot more to offer and uh, that's why I'm here I'm gonna be taking you guys around Harare we're gonna interact with some people from Zimbabwe let's learn what Zimbabwe is all about so yeah that's what's up and today I am here Highlands Park yeah mm, this is a newly constructed mall and it's full it's packed it's modern i'm so excited come with me let me take you around oh. i mean here it looks like you guys have everything you know 
Who can I get a, a, a SIM card here? Mm. I hope I can. I hope I can. It's an internet. They have FedEx, they have... Yo, guys! There are things I, you will learn about Zimbabwe that will shock you. Personally, I've learned a couple of things that have shocked me. Um, apparently, these guys, you guys know Minute Maid, the common juice. Apparently, it comes from, it originates from here. Also, we, you, Kenyans, you know Chicken In, you know Creamy In, you know Pizza In. I thought these are Kenyan brands. And I really used to think these are Kenyan brands. Shock on me. Yeah, there's a chicken ah. in behind you. There's a chicken in right behind. Yeah. This is it. Mm. Man, apparently, they started in Zimbabwe. And Am I the only one who thought this? Guys, drop a comment. Let me know. Anyway, come with me. Oh, we have to take a picture there. I love Zim. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Should we do it first? Go around and then you take it when you're leaving or you take it now? What you say? Okay. Hope you don't forget. So, I want to go in, uh, pick and pay, and uh, let's, let, let's shop. Another shocking thing that I learned about Zimbabwe, you guys, <laughs> me, I was shocked. Um, usually, in Africa, when you travel to a country, the country has its own currency. So, you go with dollars, then you convert them to the local currency. Guess what? In Zimbabwe, they use US dollars. That, that, that shocked me. That shocked me. That like, these guys are rich. These guys are balling, yo. Did you guys know that? So, when you land in Zimbabwe, you don't have to change your dollars. You just come right through with them and uh, use them. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It's just fun. Your smell is so cute. Wow. So I want to see. Hi, madam. How are you? Hi. Please, can I ask you a question on camera? Uh, no. Okay. She's shy. She's like, no. I told you about it. What's that? Hello, sir. Please, can I ask you a question on camera? I'm not Zimbabwean. Why are Zimbabwean shy? Everyone is like, no. No. What's that? Let me, let me, let me, let me try this next password. Hey, Zimbabweans, don't do me like that. I hope to get at least one or two people. Okay, there's someone coming. Let me see if I can ask them a question. Zimbabweans, don't be that shy. Hi, sir. Please, can I ask you a question about Zimbabwe on camera? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. So. Oh, thank you, finally. Huh? <laughs> Never give up. Please hold this for me. How are you doing? My name is Trudy. What's your name? Albert. Albert. Are you Zimbabwean? What do you love most about your country? Uh, the people. People are very welcoming, very friendly. Yeah. So you can walk anywhere. If someone wants to alert you, someone will have something nice to say to you. Okay. What is one meal you think people should try when they come to your country? Definitely beef stew and salsa. Okay. Beef. Is it true that you guys have the best beef? In Africa? <laughs> I think I'm a bit biased, so I'll say yes. Okay. I'm not too sure. Not Where is one place you think people should visit when they come to Zimbabwe? You come to Zimbabwe, one place you should visit, I'd say Gavas. Where is that? I don't know the directions, but... It's close by. Yeah, it's close by. It's one place you should visit. Hmm, okay, I thought you'd say Victoria Falls. <laughs> I'm Victoria. But everyone says that, yeah, so yeah. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any, anyone watching you and they want to come to Zimbabwe, what message would you have for them? Enjoy yourselves and try and experience as much as you can. Thank you so much. You're so kind. My channel is Miss Trudy. Go check yourself out. Bless up. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. Hi, sir. How are you? How are you? Uh, my name is Trudy. I'm a YouTuber. Can I ask you a question on camera? Okay. It's about what? Uh, Zimbabwe. I, I, I'm Kenyan. I'm just visiting Zimbabwe oh, okay. for the first time. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Are you Zimbabwean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you That's love nice. your country? Love it so much. <laughs> what do you love? What do you love most I've about I've your never, country? I've never gone out of this country. Really? Oh, yeah. No way. Uh, love it so much. Would you wanna go or you just wanna stay in your uh, country? I just don't have any interest so far. Oh wow! <laughs> Proud Zimbabwean that's writer. How much, that's how, how much love I have for this. Country. What do you love most about your country? Uh, uh, yeah, the music. Oh wow! Oh, listen, I only know one 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 Zimbabwean artist, Jack Jack Jap Jap Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is he your favorite? Yeah, he's my favorite, but you should also check on others. Like, like? Uh, Winky D. Winky D. Yeah, okay. You should, you should check on. Um, 
uh, what's this guy? Takura. Okay. Yeah, it's got a nice Afro fusion vibe. You'll like it if you if you, if you listen to it. You okay. Check, check him out. Thank you. Yeah. One last question. You've never left Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah. Never. So let's say there are people who are watching and uh, they are thinking of coming to Zimbabwe. What message would you have for them? It's a beautiful country. Eh? Uh, the specific spots that you've got to, you know. But it's a very beautiful country. You know, I'm popular to, I mean, unlike uh, popular belief, yeah, contrary to popular belief, you find out that there's this image that people have built on Zim, like it looks like this, it looks like this. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I really love Zimbabwe. Like, I didn't think it looks like yeah. this. Came here to Highlands Park. It looks like maybe a part of New York City. Yeah, I'm and like, yo, it's New night. York. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, should, I should definitely yeah, check yeah, it out. Yeah, you tonight. should check, check it out during the night. Go to Village Rock during the night. You know, yeah, very nice spots. You should, you, should, you should check them out. Thank you so much. You're definitely. so kind. Ah, thank you. Check yourself out on Miss Trudy on YouTube. Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy. T R U D Y. T R U D Y D for dog True D Y oh, True, True D Y Yes All right. True D True D, True D. Yes. Alright it's fine I will Okay thank sure, you sure. bye And there come the security card Say no film me Hello sir can I ask you some questions on camera? Yes camera Is this camera? Yes not allowed here. Oh, okay. It's safe our camera. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm Kenyan. I was just, I was just asking Zimbabweans about the country. I'm sorry, I didn't know. You can use your phone. Okay. Oh. Phone. So we've been stopped from filming. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm still gonna take you around the mall because I've said I can film on my phone, not on my GoPro. Now that I have told you guys that in Zimbabwe they use dollars, I'm sure you're wondering what a dollar can get you in a day in Zimbabwe. So, let me show you. I'm going to start by eating lunch because I'm super hungry. And uh, I've seen Rokomama's brand all over. I've seen it in Nairobi, Kenya. I've seen it in Accra, Ghana. Now I see it in Harare, Zimbabwe. I think I also saw it in South Africa. So, let's go grab a meal guys so i decided to come and eat here at roko mamas and i gotta tell you um, zimbabwe has more white people than i thought uh yeah it's got lots of i'm seeing so many white people i'm not saying i have a problem with that don't come for me i'm just letting you guys know what's up okay so yeah i'm super hungry i just want to eat and uh and go out Unfortunately, the waitress peeled my fries while placing them on the table, but she was so apologetic, I forgive her. Okay, I need to wash my hands. How will we know if she wouldn't bring the same ones? So she's going, <laughs> so she's going behind with them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Open free! Oh, oh Jesus! Let me go and wash my hands. The food here was so worth it. It was super tasty, but we had to dig in deep because our meal for two cost thirty nine US dollars. Yes, and I tipped ten dollars, so in total that was forty nine US dollars. Guys, so we're paying dollars in Zimbabwe. It's crazy, so our meal was thirty-nine dollars. That's crazy. Guys, just finished eating. I'm so full. We had to pack the rest. Anyway, I'm here with someone else. Hi, what's your name? Okay, oh, yeah, my name is Babyface. Babyface. Yes, ma'am. You have a baby face. Ah, oh, thank you. Is that why you're called Babyface? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is Trudy, I'm from Kenya. It's my first time in Zimbabwe. Uh, and what did you tell me earlier on? Alright, oh, I said I love your dress. Yeah. It's really nice. Thank you, it's giving Chinese. It's giving Chinese vibes. So, I wanted to ask you, um, what do you love about your country? What I love about my country is we have uh, great weather, right? So, a lot of people will be coming in to enjoy our weather. We also have uh, beautiful views. Like the Victoria Falls, uh, Nyanga Mountains, those are some great places to visit. Trust me, I've been there and it's really fun. You can really take some time off.
Well, I kind of stuff. Okay, so we have Rokomamas in Kenya, right. and we also have it in Ghana. Do you know any other countries Rokomamas is at? Yeah, our main head, our main head office is uh, in South Africa. Yeah. Okay. That's where it originated. Then uh, Zimbabwe, it came to Zimbabwe. Now I'm working it as a rockstar. We are not waiters. People call us waiters, but we are not waiters. We are rockstars. Uh, what, what, what is unique about us is we don't do things the normal way. As for our motto, we are not normal. Mm. Alright, I can show you an example. Ah, okay. Yes. Love your hair. Thank you. So we do things a little bit abnormal so that we try to bring the vibe to you. So when I come to you. We're not old school. Yeah, we're not old school. Yeah. We are not your typical waiters. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not a teacher in old school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Guys, so we found a cute place right over there. We were taking photos and we were chased. <laughs> So now we're not going to feature their place anymore. Yeah. We'll just show the guys who we're accepting. Yeah, the, the, this place is so cute. I love the pink and I love this. I love Zim here and this tree here. So we're going to try and take cute photos. We just asked them. The other place they said we have to buy something to take photos. But you had already eaten at Roko Mama's. <laughs> so here they said we don't have to. We could just take. I think they are smart. You know, that's how they grow their business. Exactly. So anyway, I'm going to take a photo. If you want to see the photo, come over to my Instagram. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. That's what's up. So thanks to her, all the cute videos you see and photos, she's the one behind them. So please thank her for me in the comment section and go over to their channel and subscribe. Yes, the Mega Bish family. That's what's up. Subscribe. Guys, you've just been stopped by the security guard and they're like, no filming, no filming allowed. And I'm like, damn man, come on. Come on. So, don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> because I couldn't let me film with my camera, I filmed with my phone just for Instagram and Facebook. So, I you can go and check water, it out. My total snacks. shopping for the week was about 39 US dollars. Yeah. So I'm in total to in a day, just on food, I spent about, you know, almost 90 US dollars. Crazy. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Friends. how are you? I'm fine, what's your name? I'm reading with my everything. Takudzwa. South African names, uh, like Zimbabwean and South, and South African names are just on another level. Anyway, so, my name is Trudy. What's your name? Uh, Takudzwa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't catch it, it's so funny. I already forgot the name. It's so yeah. hard. Anyway, I use Zimbabwean. Yes, sir. What do you love most about your country? Uh, I think the weather. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice. Uh, nice Everyone is seeing the weather. Yeah, Everyone we've got, is seeing the we've food. We've got great weather, yeah. Uh, the food, the people, I think for me. Yes. Rumor has it that you guys have the, be have the best beef in Africa. You could argue for you. Oh wow! That's yeah. That's a, that's a best beef in Africa, idea. guys. Do you believe that? That's crazy. We actually, back in the day, we used to export some of our steaks to the UK. Even. Really? Yeah, straight from Zimbabwe, straight to London. Oh so, wow! Yeah, it was a thing until until stuff happened. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Um, if someone is thinking of. Annoying. If someone is thinking of coming to Zimbabwe, what message would you have for them? Maybe they are scared, they've had some scary things, they think it's not safe. What, what would you tell them? I would say, come. You know, uh, we've got so many things to do. It's a safe place, really. If you can just take a look around here. Yeah. Uh, there's so much going on. It's, uh, it's a cool place. Uh, so yeah, feel free, guys. Zim is Zimbo. <laughs> so, Bo means good. So, Zimbo. Come to okay. Guys, okay, so we're in this other shopping mall and uh, see, they have butter here. Kenya and Ghana, I mean, Kenya and Zimbabwe are so similar. They have so many stores in common. Um, what is the name of this place we are at right now? Sam Levy. Sam Levy Village. Yep. Mm. It's so cool. It's uh, a little bit chilled, more than the place we're from, <laughs> but I like it. 
so guys as content creators whenever we travel we need to stay online so now that i'm in zimbabwe i need to get myself a sim card because whenever i'm out of the house i'm offline in the house i have wi-fi out of the house i'm offline and i've got to be online i feel like i'm missing out i have four more yeah i'm missing out <laughs> so i've been told these guys sell uh sim cards so come with me let's find out Hello, good evening. Good evening. Is it afternoon? Ah, uh, it's nice. After three, so <laughs> it's evening. It's evening, yeah, sure. Yes, hi, um, my name is Trudy. Okay. I'm from Kenya, and I'm wondering if I can get a SIM card. A SIM card, okay, it's fine. My name is Ngoni. I assist you to get a SIM card. Okay. So all I need is your ID or your passport. It's a foreign document. Yeah, I have a so passport. Okay, I have your passport. Then we can do the process for you to get it. So, um, now that I have my passport. I want to ask you, is this the only network here in Zimbabwe? Uh, no, we have about three networks. Okay. Uh, these are Econet, Net1, and Telesel. But uh, for the meantime, I would say we are the best <laughs> service provider. You should thank me for bringing us to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, can I have your passport? There you go. Um, how long does your Wi-Fi last? Uh, we have different packages. You need data. Okay, all the packages they last for a month, depending on your usage. Okay. Yeah, so it's user based. So the more you use, the more you buy. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, I have an iPhone 14, so I don't have a place to put my SIM card. Okay. Can it be put online? You call it online or the e -SIM, seamless? Yeah. yeah e uh, we do eSIMs, but unfortunately for now we are having system challenging. Oh no. So you can only get a physical card. So if you are using an iPhone which doesn't take SIM cards, then it becomes a challenge. Of which you are the only service provider who is providing e Really? Yeah, sure. You guys are surely ahead of everyone, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> but the thing is we are facing a, we are having a system challenge, but... Uh, so when do I come? Do I check um, tomorrow or what? What you can do, since your friend will get a local number, right? Yes. Do you have a local number? I'll just give you my number, then you can just confirm with me if the system is working. Then you can... How are you? I'm alright, how are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? Gavin. Gavin? Yeah. Are you Zimbabwean? I am Zimbabwean. Uh, what do you love most about your country? It's beautiful, it's peaceful, and we are good people, loving, caring, and respectful. Aww. Yeah. So, if anyone is watching and they're afraid of coming to Zimbabwe, what message would you have for them? I'll tell them they are wrong. Mm -hmm. They have to come and visit our country and see uh, how we do in Zimbabwe. We are welcoming people. We can communicate to anybody. We are free and open to anyone. Okay. We don't struggle to communicate with anyone in Zimbabwe. Yeah, this, most of them speak English. I haven't met anyone really who doesn't speak English and that's amazing. Yeah. It makes your work easy because sometimes you travel to places and they speak French, they speak Portuguese, so this is really good. Yeah. Um, you're telling them to come and visit Zimbabwe. Where do you where would you advise them to visit? So in Zimbabwe, we have a lot of tourism areas where you can have fun, you yeah. can refresh, you can see the beauty of our country. You can visit the Victoria Falls. Uh, yeah, Victoria Falls, top on the list. Obviously, it's yeah. uh, the, the pinnacle of Beautiful. tourism in our country. Yeah. Yeah, and also the CBD. Yeah, oh, the CBD is really, really beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of business activity that happens within the CBDs. Yeah. And there are the areas that have got dams and reserves that you can just enjoy yourself. Okay. We have a Kariba Dam. Oh, also. okay. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Guys, I just want to take a minute and appreciate the small. Look at all these palm trees. Man, they beautify the place guys we've been stopped from filming we've been we've been told to go to the main office so we're going to the main office right now i've been told you're not allowed to film oh my god <sighs> Yo. oh my god there's nobody you told us to come here and there's nobody before I end my video, I decided to visit a foreigner who has established business here in Zimbabwe. I want a foreigner's take. What do they think of Zimbabwe? Truly, what go on? Midea. All right, nice. Welcome <laughs> to Zim, you know? Oh, um... Yeah, so you come at the regular flavor establishment and thing, you see me? 
Yeah, Azio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in there. So, I love oh, I love your country so much. Yeah? I love Jamaica. Nice. I love your food. Nice, nice, nice. So like you're Jamaican. Hundred percent. But you live in Zimbabwe. Well, but you know, but Africa warm though. Isn't it? Oh wow! How long yeah. have you been here? Been here, been here for a minute, you know. Isn't me? Been here for a minute, in and out, you know. You know it go. So when were you first in Africa? When did you come to Zimbabwe? First come to Africa, the first time on the continent was like 2012, you know. Really? Like over 10 years ago still, wow. isn't it? Wow. Yeah, man, but I've always had, you know what I mean, that connection with Africa, you see me? So, you know, like I say, with there, I try to show Jamaica this side of the world, isn't it? Guys, so this right here is the owner behind this. This is a Jamaican reggae flavors, which is uh, gives you the taste of Jamaica here in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, is it? So exactly. I came here the other night. It was amazing. I loved your food. I love yeah. Jamaican food so yeah. much. Yeah, all right. So cool, big cool. up yourself yeah, for man. opening this in Zimbabwe. Hundred percent, man. Yeah, man. So bless up people. You know what I mean? They are with Trudy. See me. How okay. much? How has business been as a foreigner coming to? You know, live and work in Zimbabwe. You know what? To be honest, you know what? Nothing in our life not easy, you know. So, yeah. you, especially down in Africa, people, mm -hmm. you see me? But you don't know once you push and have a sense, you know? God and time, you get me? Mm -hmm. So, once God in it, just a matter of time, you know what I mean? So, oh my God, I love see, that one. Yeah, man, so. Okay, um, if there are any Jamaicans watching and they mm -hmm. want to come to Africa but they're scared, what would you tell them? Well, Jaja, ja, all right. If any Jamaican watch, I'll make you tell you, no? Do the groundwork, you know, just run in just so and things say yes, it's a good welcoming. But Africa is open for everybody, you see me. But make sure so you know, do the groundwork, uh, that is important, you see me. Different culture compared to where we used to a yard, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, groundwork is crucial. I love me? this so much. Like, I yeah. can just listen to Jamaicans talk the yeah. whole day. Coming like the music. part where yeah, it's sweet, like music. It's like, yeah, yes, it really sounds like music. Uh, that is it, so, you see me? Uh, I have so much respect for you for moving all the way to Africa. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, Guys, okay. please let's support him whenever you come to yeah, man, Zimbabwe. Come on Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, come to Reggae Flavors. Reggae I've been told Flavor. there's a lady who came the other day and said they watched Oh, yeah, video. yeah, yeah, yeah. I impress. Come through and share. Say, you know what? So keep coming, man. Yeah. Keep Customer, coming. Yeah, when you keep come coming. to Zimbabwe, this is a must come place. Yeah. Let's support black businesses, especially exactly. people moving from the diaspora. We tell them to come home. So when they come home, let's come and support their businesses. Yeah, man, and the socials as well, yeah? Yeah. Don't forget, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So, don't Bless know. up yourself. Bless up yourself, my sister. Yeah, man. I see you. All right, see you there. I'm Zimbabwean, but I like Jamaican food. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, did you, you should also try our Jack, you should also try Jack Chicken. When you, you can find any nearest Jamaican restaurant, even this one as well, it's called Jamaican Regal Flavors. You can also try Jack Chicken, uh, Jack Pork, or Oxtail as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything you need to ask you? If you had any message yeah. to any Zimbabwean watching out of Zimbabwe, what would that be? Um, take care, be patient, everything takes time and embrace what you have. Come back home and invest in your country, things are it looking be, up. Yeah, it is a beautiful country, come back, come back to Zim, Zim is a good country. Yeah, so if you're from Zimbabwe and you're watching um, and you're not in Zimbabwe, drop a comment and let us know what you love most about your country. Guys, so we've been looking for vanilla essence. We've gone round and round and round <laughs> in vain. But thank God, never give up because we finally found it. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to show you guys how this place looks like. To me, it's giving Arizona. Like, it really looks like Arizona. I love the vibe. This many places in Arizona look like. Village walk. Uh, I have learned one thing. Apparently, many Zimbabweans are not on YouTube because uh, I was told your Wi-Fi is very expensive. Apparently, <laughs> for the for the month, it's ninety dollars. That's what some people. Pay. That's what GK told me. I was like, "What? How much you pay?" I won't even say that. Oh and my goodness! <laughs> I feel like that's so expensive. And I was told the company that supplies Wi-Fi in Zimbabwe is uh, a monopoly. So that's what makes it even more challenging. In Kenya, you can get monthly Wi-Fi, very fast kind of Wi-Fi, for thirty dollars. Actually, twenty-five dollars because it's like three thousand Kenya shillings. It's a good competition. Yeah, even in Ghana, it's not that expensive. 
please we need more companies to come and invest here or even if you're from zimbabwe invest start but i think they have this new thing now called sterling i think oh sterling yeah, yeah that's elon musk's or uh, whatever it should make it a bit more competitive oh sterling oh yeah thank god please mm -hmm. you you can't have one company doing that paying 90 dollars for wi-fi is just ridiculous uh what do you guys think it just it's ridiculous to me i'd like to know what you guys think yep so we need more zimbabweans on youtube please share my video with all zimbabweans tell them there's a new girl in town tell them to come over and subscribe to my channel that's what's up yeah so it's been a long long day i have enjoyed moving around zimbabwe i am in 